Hey guys, just want to give you a quick update on a couple of things. Uh, number one, the light bar. I still owe you a video showing you the effect at night. I was uh, working on getting the, the adjustment done uh, forward and back. And one thing that I noticed was, if you can see on the video, you can see these little teeth here. They're on the inside as well. And when I did the install, and you can kind of see uh, these angles or these uh, brackets are they sit at a slight angle which is fine but the angle of the roof just happens to aim the light bar slightly down so um, and that happens because the teeth intermesh so what I did is I went and I got uh, a neoprene washer so this this little piece right here is a neoprene washer I just got that from uh, Ace Hardware my local Ace there's like 59 cents each I put one on each side and what it did was it gave enough space just where those teeth want to go into the rubber and not into the actual uh, teeth on it. And so now if I grab a level, you can see I'm just a hair pointed high. Uh, just a hair and there is enough. I've got this tightened down really really well There is enough here where I can adjust it slightly um, But I've done that adjustment and so I haven't had a chance yet to test it out since I did the adjustment yesterday because uh, It was pouring down rain last night. So anyway, I do owe you a video on that But that is a little tip is to to get some of those neoprene washers That might be a, a benefit um that's one thing. The second thing is my heater came in and I've got, here's the box right here. Um, I've actually got it sitting on my trailer, which is back in my garage. Um, we left it over at the school and some kids put some white paint on it, which I've gotten most of it off. And then I also, if you can see right here, I had to move the tag because it was getting banged up, which is pretty common on utility trailers. But, uh, Anyway, got the heater, and you can see here, this is the Polaris heater. It is actually, um, here's the part number, the 288-1316. Um, it is actually manufactured, this is the OEM Polaris. It's actually uh, manufactured by MCC. Um, they, you cannot buy directly from MCC, or if you can, I don't know how it is, but uh, I could not find it anywhere online, so I'm going to just do a quick unboxing video. I hadn't even, I picked this up yesterday morning, and I haven't even, uh, haven't even gone through and opened it up yet. So if this is new to you, just as it is to me. Set the uh, blade down. Pull this out. Certainly professionally packaged, obviously. So here's the fan unit, of course, and lots of packing material. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We got a second box, which is most of the stuff, and it looks like. So here's the packing list. Just kind of go down the list here, and you can see. Lots of stuff enclosed, and, uh, and like I said, here's the here's the fan unit. Okay, so it's got a little little filter on it. Just a uh, feels like an aluminum filter, which we popped off and cleaned up, which is good. And then um, oh, it looks like so. One thing I saw in a previous video was this pad was something that needed to be put on um, uh, as part of the kit. It looks like they now do that for you. And it's kind of interesting. I see two bolts, but I don't see the third. I um, wonder if they've changed design or what. We'll have to get into the instructions and see. But there's the, uh, turn this over again. There's the fan unit with the, with the squirrel cage on it. So let's take a look at the second box here. 
sorry if my finger's getting in front of the camera lens. Okay, all right, we have instructions. Okay, so here's the instructions, and I'll be doing uh, some follow-on videos, of course. Um, but I uh, got that. And let's see, okay, wiring harness. Pretty heavy duty, nice OEM quality, of course, just what you'd expect. Uh, so that's very nice. It's, uh, looks like a nice, nice setup there. Of course, the different hoses that we have to have to do the install, all with uh, the custom bins in it. And uh, the hoses, and they've they've pre-installed um, some of the splitters on the hoses. Pull those out. So all that's in there. Let's see what the... Uh... Okay, here's the... This looks like this might be a, uh, an upgraded kit. Uh, or at least I did not see this in, a, in other videos. So um, here's the control valve. See what else we have here. Got all sorts of parts, of course. Okay, here's the here's the controller. Goes in the cab. Nice hand or nice knobs like those. And you will see on some of the pictures on the website, it's it'll say right here in the middle, um, Polaris heater control or something like that. Looks like they don't do that anymore, but uh, still, of course, very professional and uh, OEM quality set up there which is nice and that's one reason i got this particular kit was because of that um okay and so they have changed this kit just a little bit because the original um in fact the instructions i know they have updated it originally instead of instead of this piece having uh, originally it had four outlets on the top so they've moved one to the side so that's new and it does look like some of these bracket pieces might be new as well. Um, so we'll just have to go through all of the hardware and just look through everything. But, um, okay. That's interesting. I'm not entirely sure that that is necessarily the correct vents because there's supposed to be supposed to be a four square vents and this I believe I think they have given me the wrong kit wonderful great Okay, well, I'm gonna have to call on that. Oh man. All right, well, uh, oh gosh, more updates on this. Um, and I'll just have to keep you posted on what happens here. Oh man, crap. <laughs>